so in this video we are going to uh, create a pattern i mean heart shape pattern using for loop okay so uh, first as you can see first what we have to do is like we have to differentiate this heart shape into rows and columns so that i have already done so i'll show you the image of that okay. so this is the uh, this is our output actually this is output in the sense that this red color stars are our output so i have differentiated this using rows 0 1 2 3 4 5 there are total six rows and we start with zero as normal so these are the rows one okay so there are total six rows and there are total seven columns okay so this actually uh, before uh, starting a program we have to learn the uh, learn the solution for an output so first procedure is that how we can solve this issue there are so many different ways also to create this heart shape so i am using my logic and i am uh, doing this so if you have any different types of uh, logic or different way of doing this please uh, comment us so that we will go through it and we will learn more we will learn together actually so there are yeah as i said there are six column six rows and seven columns okay there are seven columns so like this first we have to differentiate it after that so as you know uh, since there are rows and columns we have to use nested for that is first we will write a, a for loop for row row elements then we will write inside that we will write another for loop for columns okay so let's get get to the code actually okay so first i'll write the code then i'll explain the things so so here first i am creating the for loop for row okay so i am giving an uh, what to say i am giving a variable in the name as row you can give it according to you so for clear clarity i am using just row here variable so in the range of okay so we can check how many rows we need so in 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 rows we need okay so i am giving it as 6 and also we okay and also we need uh, for loop for column or columns also so i'll create a for loop for columns okay. and i need to check how much till what is the number how many columns we need to check so i'll check that here so it is like up to seven okay so index is six so index plus one because we are starting from zero so total range will be seven here now we have to check where and all uh, we want stars okay so what i have what i have done is like i'll take i'll uh, consider it as four uh, four thing i'll i'll be using if loop okay if uh, conditional state nodes i'll be using here so why i'll tell you first thing like this is in this we have to uh, write stars take it as diagonally like this i want a star and also like this i want a star okay so there will be four one two one diagonal and another diagonal okay it is not exactly diagonal but i will say it as diagonal okay so uh, as you can see if you uh, look it closely okay first row that is zero row the stars are in column number one, column number two, column number four, column number five. Okay. And also, uh, if you notice closely, we can see that zeroth column, there is no element. Third column also, there is no element. So sixth column also, there is no element. Okay. So if you consider, I'll, I'll write it in uh, command so that you will get to know what exactly what I Row zero, column zero, three and six. 
doesn't have elements as you can see here no element no element no element so what i have to do is like i can consider what i am doing is like i'll consider it as wherever there is a mode of 3 is equal to 0 then don't print star okay that is what i want that means uh, 3 mode 0 is i mean remainder will be 0 and 3 mode uh, 3 will be remainder will be 0 6 mode 3 remainder will be 0 so wherever the remain becomes 0 by uh, remainder became 0 by dividing it with 3 then we, we should not print it we should not print anything in that in that column okay so we'll see how it works let's write the code okay so what i'm trying to say is okay i'll use this image so when rho equal to equal to zero okay when rho equal to equal to zero and column column uh, what to say column is one means column uh, one mode of three is not equal to zero Okay, when it is not equal to 0, I want to print the star. Correct? When it is equal to 0, I don't want to print. So, I will use when it is not equal to. When column mode 3 not equal to 0, I will print the star. So, if you uh, check here, 1 mode 3 is, uh, will get a remainder. 2 mode 3 will get a remainder. 4 mode 3 will get a remainder. 5 mode 3 will get a remainder. So, wherever there is a remainder, you will be, it will be printed. in a bracket actually because I will tell you why. Okay. So first condition is done. First row is done. Okay. So if row equal to 0, this will be done. Not equal. If we give equal to means, what will happen is wherever, wherever uh, when we divide with 3, wherever there is, uh, wherever we are getting 0, it will be printed. So it will be printing like 0, 3 and 6. That is exactly what we want in row number 1. We want to print it in 0, 3 and 6. Correct. So if you check means uh, what to say 0 mode 3 is 0, 3 mode 3 is 0, 6 mode 3 remainder will be 0. So wherever the remainder when we are um, uh, dividing it with 3, when we are uh, dividing it with 3 and we get an output or we get a remainder has 0, we have to print star there. That is when rho equal to 1. So let's see how it works. I'll use our operator if rho equal to equal to one, okay, and column equal to equal to oh sorry column mode three equal to equal to zero. I want to print star. So second row is also done. So what next? Next I want to do is like this. These four stars I want to print. Okay, these four stars. So please concentrate. So how the thing, how what I have, uh, what I am thinking is like. Okay, here you just check. Okay, row number two minus column number zero gives an equal to two minus zero equal to two. Same here, three minus one gives two. So, 4 minus 2 gives 2. 5 minus 3 gives 2. So, here rho minus column is always giving me output has 2. Okay, 2 minus 0 is 2, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, wherever uh, when we are minusing rho minus column and we are getting it as, uh, what to say, we are getting it as output as 2, we have to print star. Okay, as you can see, if it is like if you, if you think like if uh, we'll seek another and we'll check another method like two minus one that is equal to one, I don't want to print star. Two minus two that is equal to zero, I don't want to print star. Two minus three minus one, I don't want to print star. But when it comes here, two minus zero, it gives okay two. So we have to print star exactly for all these things. All these four things okay 5 minus 3 gives output 2 so it will print star 
So I'll write code for that. We'll see how does it go. So I'll write the code as O minus column equal to equal to two. Then I want to print the star. Okay. So next, okay. So what next? So first is this is done. This is also done. This diagonally four is done. Now next remaining is these three. Okay, these three is remaining. So how will I write the code for that? So if you consider this star, okay, where I am pointing this star, that is in second row, and column is number six. Okay, so two plus six equal to eight. If I consider this third row, fifth column, five plus three is equal to eight. If you consider this fourth row, fourth column. Four plus four equal to eight. Okay, so all these three are giving me the. If you add column and row for all three these stars, we are getting an uh, answer as eight. So as we did earlier, we can easily write the code for that. I'll write it below. Row plus column. That is what we are doing here. I'll try this again. I'm getting angry because of that. I think so it seems like there is an error for me here in my work. Let me check that. Okay, here I have given if by mistake it is done. I'll do. Okay. So yeah, so my code is almost done. I think I'll keep this down. It is happening. Mm, okay, no problem. I'll keep it sideways only. I'll push this away so that you can see it clearly. Okay. So print the star, but also okay. Why this end is equal? Why this end is equal to? Uh, null I am giving is like I want. I don't want one, one when it is printing one star. I don't want to go down. I want it to print it in the same line. If and only if the condition any of this condition is true. That is why I am using OR operator. If any of this condition is true, I want to print star. If not, I should print else. Print one space. I'll run this code and I'll check the output. What will be getting? I'm sorry, I'm getting the output is like this. Mm, okay. Okay. So what I have to do is like what? Why I'm getting it is in same line. So what happened here is like. See, I'll explain you this thing. So after. See, I am getting output like correctly because first four, four is in first row. So once this first row is done, I want it to be printed in second row. So where is my second? Uh, I mean row for loop. This is my row for loop. So I have to give it a print here. Okay, inside the row for loop, I have to print a new line because once it is going to the down, I mean once it is once the row is changing, it should be new line. That is what I want. So I have to give it. In. Uh, uh, in, inside the row for loop, actually we have to give the new line. So that's why I am giving this one. So now let's see the output. Yeah, yeah, I am getting it. So that's it. So this is how the star works, or what to say? Yeah. So this is how how shape pattern works. So the code will be uh, mentioned in the description. You can access the code, and if you have any other logic or any other different types of easier way to get this shape, please comment it. We will be going through it. Thank you so much for watching.